Hey guys, I know I haven't filmed in a while, I filmed a couple of videos and haven't posted them, mostly because they've needed editing and I'm going to try and make this a one take just so I can post something, just a couple of thoughts about tonight really. Um, I'm just feeling really guilty for feeling the way I'm feeling and I know I shouldn't feel guilty, but I do. Um, basically, it's I just really, really don't like going out for dinner anymore. Um, I don't do it very often at all. I avoid it, like if at all possible. Um, that started because obviously because of the anxiety. I used to enjoy going out for dinner, and now. I've decided I've got something in my fucking eye, oh man. Well I'm definitely going to have to edit that out because no one wants to see someone fiddling with the rival. I guess I grew up like in a family that went out for dinner a lot so I always was used to going out for dinner a lot and I mean not a lot a lot I mean for like birthdays and celebrations and things. Um, so I don't know, mm. I, I know I used to enjoy it and now I actually really feel the complete opposite like I actually really have a bad time and it doesn't matter who I'm with or where I go you know I could be with the nicest people ever and at my favorite ever restaurant and I feel like I would still feel the same um this might not sound like a big problem it's not it, you know it doesn't matter I don't want to go out for dinner but it just sucks a bit to feel like it's kind of expected as a kind of celebratory thing to do especially for like birthdays or anniversaries or you know special occasions it's just kind of the dumb thing you know especially like with friends and family it's you go out for dinner in my world anyway um it's just, I don't know why it's bothering me so much, it just, basically, we went out for dinner tonight with some friends, and they're so, so lovely, like, I couldn't ask for better company, the place we went was a lot bigger and busier than I anticipated, so fair enough, I was not particularly comfortable with the atmosphere, like, I was pretty anxious most of the time, but I didn't really let on too much, you know? I don't think I did anyway. I definitely didn't say anything. But it was a really lovely place. The actual building was really cool. And it pissed me off that I couldn't enjoy that, you know? I couldn't just enjoy it for what it was. It was... I don't know. I think it was just really crowded and that kind of put me a little bit... got me really nervous and... even when we, like, finally got to our table, because we had to wait for a while, even when we got to the table and it was way quieter and we had plenty of space, you know. Um, this is where I start to feel really, really guilty and really bad because it wasn't there for my birthday, do you know what I mean? It was like, it was someone else's birthday, it had nothing to do with me. And I feel really selfish for just feeling like this. That's so stupid. Um, yeah, I just kind of... I just I wanted to go home. It's nothing anyone could have changed, you know? I had lovely company, conversation, good food, I had my other half with me, you know? Everything I could have had with me that would have made me happy was with me. <laughs> and I just couldn't enjoy myself. I don't even know why I'm making this video, it's just really weird to suddenly find something you used to enjoy like I did, I used to enjoy going out for dinner, I would look forward to it, I would pick restaurants, I would research them, you know um, just gone, it's just gone and I, yeah, like I, I think I said already, I feel the exact opposite towards it now, I actually really really dislike it, like a lot, like I don't know, I guess it's a bit like 
Some people like going swimming, other people can't stand swimming. Not because they're scared of it, they just don't like it. And yeah, I think maybe I need to accept that I just don't like going out for dinner. This is such a dumb video, oh my god. I guess my point was, again, feeling guilty for other people, like putting any kind of any of my shit onto other people and their celebrations and their special days, you know, like I just get really, I hate that all the stuff I suffer with is affecting um, those parts of my life, you know, it's like I want to separate everything. And obviously this is going to come up a lot more, you know, it's, it's not going to suddenly stop, people are still going to have birthdays, anniversaries are going to happen, you know. I'm gonna have birthdays. <laughs> On my birthday though, I don't go out for dinner. I, I, I don't remember the last birthday I actually went out for dinner. Like it's gotta be a few years. I genuinely tell my other half, I say, I wanna stay in, I wanna get takeout, and I just wanna watch a movie. I don't wanna go out for dinner. So, it's not a massive deal. It's just really hard to explain to anyone else. Um, you know, I'm a giant massive fucking freak who just hates restaurants now for no apparent reason because if it was an anxiety thing and it was purely down to that I'd be like okay there's like a reason you know but I don't know what the reason is I just felt super uncomfortable and just wanted yeah it was really weird I just wanted to be somewhere else you know like with the people but somewhere else just not in a restaurant it was weird I don't know does anyone else feel this way about restaurants or any particular activity that you used to really enjoy and now you're just like the opposite and it's not like when you're depressed and you know you just go off everything this is like really specific <laughs> like restaurant hating I don't know what it is I get really awkward with like being waited on and stuff I don't like it I don't know I don't know, I'm gonna shut up. Um, hope you are all doing okay and hopefully I will get a chance to edit some stuff soon and post a bit more frequently. Thanks for watching guys.